What is up, everybody? I am your host, Monster Warrior, and welcome back to episode three of Black Flag Zoo. If you are just joining us for this series, welcome. Uh, I have put links for the first two episodes in the description, so that way you can also enjoy those videos as well. But uh, if not, you just want to enjoy the ride for this episode, so be it. But uh, let's just jump right into it. This is for our Gharials. Uh, this one I did a ton of research for some tropical, uh, looking for some uh, waterfalls and and some landscaping. And you can see right now what I'm going into with this as well. Uh, building out a, a multiple level waterfall. I, I saw some pictures from the Brazilian rainforest. Uh, the, it's called the uh, Chute. Tijunka, uh, I'll have to see if I'm pronouncing that right, but it, it's it's a natural rainforest that they have like right in the middle of the city that that everybody goes through, and some of these waterfalls were just amazing, and I saw this one and it just it it spoke to me, so I was just going off of that, um, doing a lot more natural kind of looking around. Uh, building it again sticking with that tropical theme uh, trying to build it out like you're on an island um, a lot of islands aren't necessarily just straight and flat there's mountains there's curves there's hills there's water there's anything you could think of so just trying to keep with that theme there too but also in this episode you'll start getting more of a preview of our hippo exhibit that we're going to be building as well that's going to be coming in the next episode i can assure you of that so um and looking at this it was it's definitely a lot of give and take you know uh you want to kind of set something up to where you feel you're accomplishing what you want to get but also at the same time you want to feel like um you're you're given the right aesthetic that you're trying to feel as well uh, and you can see that's why at, at times you can see me do multiple different layers of the water um, you know it, do I fill it all in do I have this certain amount of land does it uh, should it be at different levels you know it, it, it's, it's a give and take so you just got to kind of keep working on it and everything um, but it eventually gets there uh, with what we want to do and then start really jumping into um, laying out the hippo exhibit where the fencing will be for that again they need a ton of land so that was why you get a preview of that in this video when you're trying to see what is going on with the other video as well um, just because you want to make sure that you are uh, leaving enough room for the hippos along with building enough for the gharials as well. So uh, with that, um, you can see now I'm kind of laying that all out and thinking of that as it's going forward and, and, and picking that up. But then what I also found out was you could see that I was changing uh, the the wood fencing I, I guess the wood fencing and into terrain like water it, it doesn't work I'm still kind of working all that out uh, it never really came to a fruition so I just kind of left the the uh, glass barriers within there and then um, and then changed everything else to the wood as well um, but then again, trying to use some natural barriers uh, with the hills, making them steeper, working through to again, trying to get that um, to be natural looking to where it's not gonna climb out, but also that there's barriers within there in case anything were to happen, like if we're building caves or if you're thought of trying to build some caves and somehow you, you tunnel out a little bit further on to that as well. So uh, getting through all that, you know, it works out in the end, I think pretty well. 
uh, getting and then connecting finally over to the other side. It's all starting to kind of come together. You got the back side of those those buildings that you've seen in the previous videos. Uh, again, I can link those in the description for you guys. They are on my Steam Workshop uh, and getting that going as well. Um, and, and then kind of this will be the first exhibit that you could see now where the Banner area and you can walk around the entrance and then uh, and then don't want to spoil it but the end of it you will be able to see that there's a viewing area because um, in this freeze frame you can see that it was raining um, I guess if you pick a tropical paradise it, it is going to rain once uh, once a day if you ever know the stories of the rainforest and stuff like that but that's what I got stuck in so I started thinking you know who wants to stand out inside the rain? Let's build some viewing areas for them and, and kind of work off of that. So built a viewing area, and this is where I start really just jumping into um, building that that multi-level of the waterfall. The images that I had of, of what it looked like, you know, just this flowing from the top of the mountain um, kind of on down and it kind of worked out because I already had that extending from the rest of the entrance where you had those hills kind of flowing up and down and then I I, I just saw it like I said it just it it spoke to me to kind of say you know this this will fit for that it, it looked almost like a an Asian kind of theme jungle where where the Garials would live from somewhere I've seen um, some of the images that I've seen trying to do a lot of research and making sure that that it, it does stay as natural looking as possible and getting them in there uh, so yeah it, it's it's definitely definitely something to keep working on so um, I definitely think I need left enough spacing for the hippos, uh, but we'll see that in the next video. But the gharels definitely had enough space because they're just about the same size um, as the saltwater crocodiles. Um, but there's a huge size difference between the males and females of the gharels. You'll see that when they come in here. Uh, we'll jump into a uh, the 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 real time here at the end of this video, and you could see just how much of a difference it is. Um, almost makes you feel kind of bad for the females in uh, real life for mating season, but uh, that's for a different um, story. So, uh, yes, now working on that waterfall, you could see that lip kind of um, coming down and then uh, just trying to see where I can level it all out um, and what I can do to make this flow the waterfall uh, mechanics or effects that are in the game there is some functionality to it that works really really well and then there's some that you just it, it, it's if it, it's frustrating but at most times it's really really fun to do um, I, I also started seeing some people using jet streams uh, which I think I might start working on uh, for my ideas on the the Indian elephants down the line here now that we're starting to kind of come to the end of this this beginning area um, but yeah it, you know uh, once you see it once we jump into the real time here in a few minutes you'll see how it's flowing I am really um, really happy with how it did come out uh, I, I, I think it, it still gets the effect that I want out of it. Um, just uh, how we could work on possibly making it and making it have it more of an effect uh, as we did with the flamingos um, in the previous video. That's how we can work on it. So now that we got our gargoyles in here. Um, It'll start slowing up. I mean, you can see the rain. It's pouring. It's pouring. And this is kind of where I was thinking. It's like, you know, that would kind of suck just standing there trying to look at these things <laughs> in the tropical paradise. <laughs> um, but you're going to get that rain. So that, that kind of gave me that idea to, to, to build out the uh, the viewing area. Um, being at 
multiple tropical areas myself and standing in the rain or hiding away in the rain or something like that uh, it kind of gave me that idea as well so um just kind of uh now just laying it out putting some enrichments out and going with that um and then we'll be jumping here shortly you know i just want to pause it get it right for them um taking out some long grass giving them that that natural feel for their environment uh, kind of spreading it around a little bit more into the other uh, environments as well um, but uh, yeah I, again I, I was really happy I, I think uh, for myself I feel like I'm starting to get more into that flow of of seeing what can and cannot be done within these environments and now I think my next venture will definitely be what I can do with uh, extending um, some buildings. I have, uh, once we get to the center, I think, as you saw, my gorilla has kind of that, uh, is statue is kind of front and center. Um, I think I want to stick with that theme. And since we're trying to be like on a tropical island, uh, maybe like an, uh, an old Caribbean themed uh worn down uh cathedral in the center and then the gorillas kind of go off of that so let's jump into the real time here uh as you can see that's my waterfall that kind of came out of it again very happy with how it is uh some of the effects can be worked on i i think differently trying to maybe possibly use jet streams as people have been trying out in other videos but again, you get that mist and you get that fog and you get the, the flow from the top and it changes angles. That's really what I was going for there. Um, and then just kind of give them a little extra water on the side there. I get really just trying to give them a natural feel for that. Um, and again, working through what i could for the gargoyles to to give them that now you can see that size that is not a baby that is the female that is walking through the mud pit and that is the male so as you can see there is a big size difference there i uh i have to research to see if that's actually true or not um if anybody actually knows kind of leave a comment down in the video let me know um so that way uh you can uh let everybody kind of know with that but again now uh, you can kind of see what I did with that uh, I left the windows all open I kind of wanted to leave it an open feel where you could see through the the cabana if you're sitting on the picnic tables too maybe um, and then you kind of walk through the building here uh, then you get your your educational viewing areas and stuff so um, turned out really nice i really like it i was really impressed with it uh and then you still get your habitat door there you can see down and see it so but thank you again uh for joining us on this episode three next we'll be doing the hippos uh if you again like the videos please give the thumbs up leave a comment what you think negative or positive would like to hear your feedback if you want to please hit the subscribe button i will keep doing this series and uh, look forward to uh, hearing from you. Talk to you later. Rock on.